When the coronavirus first struck the country in March of last year, attention, capital and resources were immediately redirected to the pandemic. The ripple effect has been evidently experienced across the country. Tigoni Hospital in Kiambu County in the recent past has been serving exclusively as a COVID-19 facility, assumingly locking out hundreds of patients with other illnesses. This has elicited mixed reactions among area residents. Hospital ya Kiambu nini ya Tigoni? Tunataka iwe na wingibiri. Sababu sisi ticket ya kweda kwa hospital hiyo igine. Kama kijabi, tuseme kama kikuyu, huko ni transport kubwa sana. Na watu wako na ja. Lakini watu wawacha kulisk. We came from almost less than 10 to almost over 200 patients. Area Governor James Nyoro, however, while agreeing to the overwhelming situation at Tigoni Hospital, attributes it to lack of adequate resources in the region. We have enough beds, about a thousand beds in the county uh, to admit COVID patients. But we don't have enough oxygen capacity. That's how we moved to the other hospitals because at that point we were repressing, uh, uh, you know, we, we have a capacity of four tons and we were refilling the four tons twice a day. So we were consuming over eight tons in a day. Now, Governor, Nairobi County has been coming fast in as far as COVID-19 numbers are, are concerned. And quite recently we've seen Kiambu County coming second, all right? And so the question is, how bad is the situation in Kiambu County currently, how are the health facilities faring? What we have seen is that even when people get sick, they are taking too long uh, to uh, come to, the, to our facilities, to the extent that most of the deaths that we are experiencing are for people uh, who have been admitted within a period of between 12 and 24 hours. Governor Nyoro has further confirmed the wide community spread of the Delta variant in his jurisdiction. Almost over half of the patients that we are experiencing are actually uh, suffering from uh, the Delta variant. While urging area residents to embrace hospital diagnosis for early detection of the virus, he states that according to health officers, the COVID-19 situation is beginning to normalize. What we were suffering from was the effect of the political campaigns and meetings and going forward, because this is waning now, uh, we are hoping that because of the arrest of the political uh, situation after Kiamba and Muguga, that that effect will be, uh, you know, will also reduce. Ben Kirera, K24, Nairobi.